Well, some major news right here, guys. President Trump will be in Israel in May, okay? Around May 22nd, he's supposed to arrive, and he's supposed to be there through Jerusalem Day, where they're going to be celebrating their 50th year, their reunification as a nation after the Six-Day War that they had all the way back in 1967. Well, rumors are swirling right now that Trump, when he is in Israel at this time of celebration, is going to announce that they will be moving the U.S. Embassy from Tel Aviv to Jerusalem. Okay, guys, this was signed. This has been approved all the way back in 1995 when Bill Clinton was president. But ever since then, every president after that have signed six-month waivers, delaying it and delaying it and delaying it in order to not, you know, interrupt or offend any of the Arab neighbors around Israel where they may get a little bit nervous, okay, because they all want to proclaim, you know, Jerusalem to be an international city. They don't want it to be, you know, Israel's eternal capital, which is it is. Okay, now Trump is a strong friend of Israel, so he is expected. Will he sign another waiver? I don't think so, especially if you're going to be going all the way over there anyway. And at the time of Jerusalem Day, the 24th of May, the 50th anniversary of the unification, yeah, guys, I mean, the, I think this is going to happen. This is going to be a huge thing if it does. Now, on Thursday, Florida Rep. Ron DeSantis brought the issue to the forefront when he told the Times of Israel that the president would announce the relocation of the U.S. Embassy when he visits the Jewish nation for the first time in May. He said, quote, we have the chance to see a very important announcement very soon, DeSantis said. What better time would there be to announce the relocation of the embassy than when you're over there as president, celebrating alongside all of, the, all of our Israeli friends and Jewish people on their 50th anniversary? Trump's visit coincides with Jerusalem Day, as I had mentioned, the day Jerusalem became a unified again back in 1967 after they won the Six-Day War. Israeli officials said President Trump will arrive on May 22nd, but did not confirm any other specific details of the visit itself. It goes on here to say that I think the announcement of the trip is a signal that it is more likely to happen than not and will send a powerful signal to other countries around the world that America is back and will stand by our allies and will not let folks cower us into not doing the right thing, DeSantis added. Now, the relocation would be huge, and it would show that Trump, as I said, is dedicated to making good on his campaign promises. He did say that during the campaign, okay? So, very interesting here, guys. All right, I'll continue to keep you updated on this. May will be a very interesting month. If this does, in fact, happen, I can't wait to see how it's all going to play out. Yeah, people are going to be upset about it, but you know what? That's okay. It's God's eternal city. Jerusalem is Israel's eternal capital. It needs to take place, and I think it will. All right, guys, I'll put the full link below if you want to check it out while you're here. Subscribe to my channel, CardsFan480. I'm here on both YouTube and also on Periscope, so please feel free. Subscribe on both of those outlets. I'll continue to bring you all the latest breaking news, current world events, and Bible prophecy updates. If you're watching right now, if you've never given your life to Jesus Christ and you would like to do so today, make today the day of salvation. Why not? Let me know. Leave me a comment below. Let me know you would like to receive Christ as Lord and Savior. You can be born again, forgiven of all of your sins, come into the kingdom of God, where you'll have everlasting life and a home in heaven for eternity, guys. I'm telling you, it'll be the greatest decision you ever will make. Join the family of God, okay? What Again, what better time than now? We're living in some incredibly prophetic times. Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, is coming back soon. We can see the day approaching. We don't know the day of the hour. He's coming, but the signs are surely here. But along the way, expect some of the greatest miracles, some of the greatest revivals that this world has ever seen take place here very, very soon. All right, guys, I'll be back with more. Thank you to all those that tuned in on Periscope for this video as well. Remember, you guys can hike over to YouTube as well. Find me on there. All right, guys, I'll be back with more. You guys take care. Please be safe out there. God bless each and every single one of you, and I'll talk with you soon.